Hello guys, you're welcome back to our class again today. In this particular experiment, we are going to be determining the relative density of a substance. And to achieve this, we have a retort stand here with um, a spring balance hung on it. We have two liquids of varying viscosities. We have here water, a beaker containing water, and then another beaker containing a diesel. Now we have with us also some sets of masses, 50 gram masses each. Here is a 50 gram hanger and then four other 50 gram masses that we're going to use to determine the relative density. Now, the procedure is on your screen. Now that you have seen the procedure, we're going to follow that procedure to get our results. The first thing we're going to do is to take note of the zero error in the spring balance. Now you check your spring balance. If it has zero error, you correct that. If it doesn't have, then you would have to continue your experiment straightforward. Now, the masses given to us are 50 gram masses. So we're expected to weigh them in air in order to get the weight in air. Of course, you can actually use calculation also to get this because weight is equal to mass times acceleration to gravity. So if we're using 50 grams and converting to Newton, we are going to get 0 0.5 Newton by way of um, calculation. But we can still use um, the spring balance since my spring balance here has the Newton and the gram um, uh, calibrations all together. So I can just hang this 50 gram mass here, expecting it to be at the 50 gram or at the 0 0.5, just to check the reading accuracy of your spring balance. You can see that my spring balance is giving me 50 grams, which is equivalent to 0 0.5 Newton, as the case may be here. So it means that my reading and my spring balance is accurate. So there won't be any need for us to now check to find the weight in air for all of them, because it means that when we're using 100, the weight in air is 100 grams, which is equivalent to 1 Newton. 150 will be 1.5 Newton, 200, and 250 will also be 2 2 newton and 2.5 newton respectively so we are interested in finding the weight in both liquids so we are going to be starting off with water so we are going to insert this in water and check what will be the spring balance reading we are going to do that for the five of them and then when we are through with water we clean these particular masses and um, go over to the next liquid so let us quickly check the reading of this mass 50 gram mass in water so i'm going to reduce this such that it will come to the level of the water ensure that the mass is completely immersed in the liquid and avoid a case where it is resting at the bottom of the beaker in order that your result will be accurate so here is what we have now we have the 50 gram mass completely immersed in water you can see the water the, the beaker um, the, the mass inside water now let us find out what will be the reading on the spring balance make sure you avoid parallax error if you read it at, uh, read it at eye level you will notice that the reading the pointer is not exactly at 50 it is it's at 0 0.4 you can see just the one before the 50 50 gram mass that's 40 gram which is equivalent to 0 0.4 newton now that is for 50 grams. So we are going to put another mass to get for 100 gram. Okay, now we have added the 100 gram mass. Here you can see two of the masses inside, the hanger and then another 50 gram mass. If you check the reading here, you're going to see at eye level that the mass, the reading is at 0 0.85. Look at it very well. You see that it's at the 0 0.85 mark. So we are going to take note of that reading. Recall that the initial one was at 0 0.4 and in this one we have 0 0.85. So we are going to continue adding another 50 gram mass and then check the results. As we proceed, we have added another 50 gram mass, making it a total of 150 gram masses. You can see it all inset, uh, inside the liquid. Now let us check the spring balance reading. If you check at it at eye level, avoiding parallax error, we are going to see that our answer, our reading is 1.3 Newton. 1.3 Newton, you can read it off here. 
So I'll quickly add the next one and let then we can check out. All right, so the next mass, 50 gram mass has been added. A total of 200 gram masses are now inside the liquid, as you can see. And then next is to check our reading here. And then at the spring, on the spring balance, you can check our reading is 1.7, 1.7 Newton, 1.7 Newton. And then finally, I'm going to add the last mass and then check out the last and then the final reading here for the liquid uh, water, the 250 gram masses has been added into the water and then um, we have our reading as 2.15 Newton. So 2.15 Newton is the last reading for 250 gram mass. So recall that we are meant to repeat this procedure for another liquid. Um, in this case, we are using a diesel. So in the examination it's going to be marked l or any other letter but i'm giving you uh, the liquid that we're using um in this particular case a diesel so let us quickly dab this and remove um the water from the body of the material we're going to use a tissue to do that and then we'll proceed with um, the next um, experiment so we have switched liquids now. We have the diesel here. Ensure that you confirm the reading of your spring balance at the beginning before you continue the second procedure. Reason being that sometimes your spring may not be um, perfectly elastic. So sometimes it may not return back to the zero point. So you have to check before you continue. Now we have checked that and then we have inserted the 50 gram mass here. So we now want to check what will be the reading. If you check at eye level, you will notice that we have the same reading with that of water at this particular level. We have it at 0.4 Newton for 50 gram mass. So I'm going to add another 50 and check for what the 100 reading will be. So now we have um, a total of 100 gram mass inside the diesel here. So let us check what we have here. If you read at eye level, you will notice that our reading is at 0.9 that is 0.9 newton which is equivalent to 90 grams check it very well at eye level you will see that 0.9 now we'll proceed to the next one which is the 150 gram mass and then take our reading so next we have a total of 150 gram masses here inserted inside the liquid and then at eye level avoiding parallax error we have our reading to be at 1.35 newton 1.35 newton as you can see from the scale that we have here two more to go we have the next which will make it a total of 100 uh, 200 grams and then we we'll check our reading so as we begin to wrap up this is 200 gram mass inside the liquid diesel and then checking the reading here on the scale you notice that the reading is at 1.75 newton 1.75 newton so I'm going to quickly proceed to the last one here, which is, a to which is going to make it a total of 250 grams, and then we'll conclude. So finally here, we have 250 gram mass in the liquid, and then we have our reading to be at 2.20, read the Newton arm, 2.20 Newtons. As you can see here, 2.20 Newton. So this is all um, the practical procedure. We are now going to compile this table, uh, this reading in a table, and show you what um, the theory would be surrounding this particular experiment. We will also draw, draw our graph, deduce our slope, and maybe share with you some precautions, other precautions that you need to take, and maybe some other question, related questions in this particular experiment. Please stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this is um, actually the interpretation of our table. You can see from everything that we did in the experiment, the mass which we converted to the weight is also recorded. And then the weight in air, which is W1, is there recorded in Newton. The weight in water, which is rep represented as W2, is also recorded. We did all this experiment together, so you can refer to what we did earlier. The weight in the liquid, remember that the liquid that we use is diesel. 
which we represented as W3, is also recorded in Newton. Then we are asked to compute U, which is equal to W1 minus W2, which is um, the values that we've gotten here by the time you subtract the weight in air minus the weight in water. So it gave us these values. And then finally, we are asked to compute V, which is equal to the weight in air minus the weight in diesel. And that also gave us these values. And then according to the question, we are asked to plot a graph of V on the vertical axis against U on the horizontal axis. By the time we plotted our graph of V against U, we got a perfect graph with all the points in the line passing through the origin. Perfect axis, perfect graph. So you can see the graph here with the axis clearly distinguished and then we have our scale clearly chosen and then all our points clearly plotted and then the slope line clearly plotted. The slope value for what we have here after we computed that which we is the change in V over the change in U, we got the value to be 1.0. Now, what is the theory behind this slope? So what is the uh, physical representation of this particular slope? You can see that the uptress of the solid in water, which we um, deduced from the experiment as U, we was W1 minus W2, and then the uptress of the solid in liquid, which is diesel as we used, is W1 minus W3. Now, the formula for calculating relative density of a liquid is uptrust of object in liquid over the uptrust of object in water. So recall that the relative density of a liquid is deduced using this formula, the uptrust of object in liquid over the uptrust of object in water. Remember that we've talked about this in our previous videos. And then by the time we substitute what we have, you will see that the graph that we plotted, which is the V over U, is um, exactly the relative density of that particular liquid. And it means that the value that we've gotten, 1.0, represents the relative density of diesel. So I'll now give you an assignment to check the exact value of the relative density of liquid. Of course, the, the relative density of water is 1, right? But the, the, the next liquid close to it is diesel. So go and find out what is the relative density of diesel. But aside this, there are some other few things that we need to take note of. The precautions that we took um, during the course of the experiment. We remember that we mentioned in the experiment that we avoided parallax error in reading the spring balance. We also took note of the zero error before we started using the spring balance. We also avoided splashing of liquid, just dropping the masses anyhow inside the liquid. We avoided objects touching the bottom of the or the sides of the beaker, and then we cleaned the masses before dipping them into the liquid. This whole experiment is hinged on Archimedes principle, and this principle states that when a body is wholly or partially immersed in a liquid or a fluid, it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the weight of the fluid that is displaced. Now, a question here where we are asked to determine the reading on the spring balance when a piece of brass of mass 20 gram is hung on a spring balance from a rigid support and completely immersed in kerosene of density 8 100 kg per meter cube. Now, to get the spring balance reading, we first of all find the volume of the brass. Now, the mass of the brass is given, we have to change it to kg. The density of the kerosene is given to us, and acceleration due to gravity is also given to us as a hint in this particular question. So, since we have the density of brass, we are going to find the volume of brass. Remember that. Density is equal to mass over volume. So when we use volume, make volume subject formula, we have mass over density. So by the time we compute that, we have 2.5 exponent minus 6 meter cube. So to get the mass of the brass, you're still using that formula now in terms of the brass now. We are going to substitute accordingly to get 2 exponent 3 kg. So this is what our value is for the mass of the brass. That is 2,000 kg. 
So this is um, for this particular question. This question is actually the solution to the uh, WIAC 2012 um, physics experiment. So you can do well to make reference to that particular year for more details. So this is what we have in this case. We sincerely appreciate your presence and your support. Please do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.